So the Samsung Galaxy Ring just ended up coming around, and so did the Galaxy Watch 7. Now some of you may be wondering at a quickly high level, like which one is the better particular device? Should you go ahead and spend more money on something like a Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 or a Galaxy Ring, depending on how you're going to buy it? Or should you save money and maybe buy one or the other, like whichever one you're going to buy? Now, I'm going to tell you for the average person out there, both of these are very different. And I don't really know why anyone would want to go ahead and buy something like a Samsung Galaxy Ring over a Galaxy Watch 7. Now, the Ring is very cool because what this thing allows you to do, first of all, it's a very, very expensive accessory, right? With, and I keep putting it on my ring finger, but then I keep like getting it stuck. Then you have to remember is that with the Samsung Galaxy Ring, this is supposed to be at the, you know, its core. It's supposed to be like this, like, you know, ring that's supposed to track your sleep, your steps, your, you know, heart rate, all these other things. And it's actually really cool, but it is just an accessory. And I don't know, like, it doesn't even feel that expensive. Like, it feels fairly cheap. It almost feels like one of those, like, dollar, like, you know, the little rings that you'd get from, like, a coin-operated thing that, like, comes out and, like, you, like, put it, it's like a 10 cent thing. It kind of feels like one of those things. Like, it doesn't feel that expensive at all, and I'm kind of surprised about it. It doesn't really have that good of a heft to it, and there's also no screen, and you have to use your phone primarily to go and even, you know, use anything with the Galaxy Ring. With the Samsung Galaxy Watch, there's a very big, you know, there's a very big reason why this thing is significantly better than the Galaxy Ring. And the reason for that is because with a Samsung Galaxy Watch, you have a lot of capability here. You can essentially go through and use this particular watch as an everyday device. You know, you can use this without even using your phone. You can track your steps and workouts and everything you can do in a ring, you can do on a watch, but you're getting this display as well. And I will say, if you're able to use a watch on an everyday basis like I am, you can get a lot of you know features and a lot of everything from something like a Galaxy Watch over a you know Galaxy Ring. And I've seen this so many times, but that is an example of what I can see from a Galaxy Watch. On top of that, you can go through and like, you know, change the bands out. And I do think you can buy a Galaxy Watch for significantly cheaper, not only the Watch 7, but you can buy a Samsung Galaxy Watch 6, a Watch, you know, you know 4, a Watch 5. As long as it's still supported with software, with Wear OS updates, you can just go ahead and buy one of those watches and have still a really good time with it as well. So I think that's another very, very big, nice thing going on for these particular watches when it comes down to it. I think with the Galaxy Ring, a cool thing going on for this particular device is that you can just go through and like, you know, kind of just wear it and then just, you know, kind of move on. You don't have to worry about it. If you're already going to wear a ring, it is kind of nice to just be able to go through and just use this and just kind of like, you know, have a ring there that you want to and you don't have to like have a watch, if, especially if you're not a watch person. And you can still like track your sleep and I will say a ring is less invasive than a watch. It's very hard for me to sleep with a watch on. I've never really worn a ring before. It's like one of the first times I've ever done it. And I think I could probably sleep with this and it probably wouldn't matter that much. But I will say one of the other annoying things is the charging capability for the Galaxy Ring. You have to charge it via this particular case and it can be kind of a little bit of a different process. I think it's cool and everything, but it is kind of an annoying thing, like having to constantly click it here. Whereas on a Galaxy Watch, you can also just plug this thing on the back of a Samsung Galaxy phone like this, and you can charge it this way, which is actually very cool. I'm pretty sure the Galaxy Ring, you can also charge this way as well. I think there's some capability there. So that might be something you can do, but it charges via USB-C, so it doesn't really matter too much. But that's just another thing to kind of keep in mind there as well. Overall, in my verdict, I will tell you, buying a Samsung Galaxy Watch is a significantly better idea than buying a Samsung Galaxy Ring. I don't think there would be any situation where I would recommend people to buy a Samsung Galaxy Ring unless you want to buy, have a ring or whatever the case is. For majority of people, the Galaxy Watch is significantly better in almost every single way than a Samsung Galaxy Ring. And that's just kind of the way I see it. But I think both phones still have some capability and some quality. But that's kind of how I see both these you know, accessories kind of holding up in this day and age. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Silver.